Well, yesterday, Nassau County Executive Laura Kern called on the federal government to bring in more COVID-19 vaccines as the hospitals and other health facilities will run out this week. About 50,000 people have been vaccinated in Nassau County so far. Well, Kern is now in quarantine after possibly being in close contact with someone who tested positive for the virus. And the county executive is joining us now. Good morning to you. Hi, good morning. Yes, so uh, someone I was with in a work context earlier this week tested positive. I'm considered a close contact, so today is my first full day of quarantine. So here I am in my guest room. So do you have any symptoms? What are you feeling? I feel fine. I, I'm going to be tested in a day or two, you know, according to the protocols. I feel better than ever. All right, okay. can we talk a little bit about the vaccinations going on in Nassau County? Uh, Jones Beach, I believe, opened up. How is that going? Yes, so we, the main issue, the main problem, there's a lot of frustration here in Nassau County about lack of supply. There's just not enough supply of vaccine. We have many, many people who are eligible, as we know everyone over 65 and many classifications of employment are eligible. We just don't have the doses to meet the need. Now the supply chain starts right at the federal government, comes down to the state, and then down to the local municipalities and hospitals. So we are ready as soon as we get the doses in, we are ready to turn them around and get them into people's arms. Because it's not easy getting a, an appointment at uh, Jones Beach or any place right now to get the vaccine. And I'm wondering, um, especially with Jones Beach, with people pulling up with their cars, are you checking license plates to make sure people are not coming from out of town? How does that work? So people are you know if it's open it's really open to anyone that's the thing it's open to anyone in, in new york state wherever they're coming from that's a state facility really? it's a state run operation so anyone can come and get a vaccine I, yes uh so you ha the other issue you talked about the frustration of people making appointments that really is linked to the first frustration of not enough supply so everyone must make an appointment through the state system and because the eligibility is so large of course the state system is getting overloaded and people are having a hard time getting through. I, I think that's the problem. It's so confusing going from New York to New Jersey, Connecticut, 65, 75, fr front line, like it's all over the place. There's nothing consistent. That's exactly right. You know, it, it's really, uh, the, the supply comes from the federal government, but decisions, the federal government said the states, you make the decision on how you distribute it, who's eligible, when they're eligible. So, you know, early on, you had everyone in Florida 65 and over being able to get it, but not in other states. So it is confusing and it is frustrating. But the bottom line is we need more supply. We need more doses. Uh, we have some county-run vaccination sites. As soon as we get those doses in, we make the appointments, we get it in the arms. We have not wasted one dose of this oh, vaccine here nice. in the county. Well, let's talk about unemployment uh, in your county and the stimulus bills that are supposed to be coming. How big of a concern are people actually getting them in their hands? It's a big concern. You know, I was just listening to your report about the unemployment report, which is which is bigger than expected. It's very, very concerning. Uh, that's another reason why we need this vaccine. That will get us back to normal. It will help businesses function. It'll keep our kids in school. It's incredibly important that we get this economy going again. And vaccine is a real key to getting that done. Well, the restaurant industry has practically been decimated in New York City. I believe you can do indoor dining in Nassau County? Correct, we never ended indoor dining. So we're still at 50% capacity for indoor dining, which is already a struggle for many of our restaurants. Anyone that serves alcohol has to close at 10, which is a challenge. So we encourage everyone, if you want a nice meal inside in the cold, mm -hmm. come to Nassau County. We're at 50% capacity and we're really not tracing disease back to the restaurants. Restaurants are safe, according to our contact tracers. That is interesting. Shout it from the mountaintops that they are not the source of COVID. Meanwhile, you have that contagious um, variant of the disease in Nassau mm -hmm. County. Correct. We have at least two cases in Nassau County of this UK variant. Um, it is my belief that we have more. We know how contagious this is. My sister lives in London. I was speaking with her. It has just run rampant mm. through England. And uh, we've got it here. So, but not to freak out. Remember, wearing the mask, social distancing, washing the hands, all of that works for this variant or any other of the 4,000 variants of this virus. Bring us up to date on school system there. Kids still in class or is it divvying up remote learning versus in-class learning? 
Yeah, so we have, unlike the city, we have 56 independent school districts and each make their own policy. But what we're seeing is um, most districts have their kids in elementary school in five days a week. Older kids are hybrid. My kids, for instance, middle school and high school are the hybrid model. I'm just also wondering about your senior population, nursing homes, you know, that's been talked about so much uh, throughout this whole pandemic. How are they faring? You know, it's, it's hard. It's hard for families. It's hard for the residents. Uh, we have gotten most nursing home staff and residents vaccinated. That's good news. Got to keep those people safe. And, you know, again, that vaccine will help people be able to visit normally and be with their loved ones, especially after this very difficult year we've had. Well, we wish you well, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we hope, uh, well, that we get some more vaccines around here. So you're using everything, which is great, because some, some places in New York City are complaining that they're, they're having to throw a few away. But I think we, we may be up to speed here now. What, have, what are you hearing? Well, I, if they have extra, send them to us. We'll get them in the arms. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to get on your line. Are you checking not only uh, license plates, but are you are you checking to see whether they're set? What is it? 75 and above? No, 65, 65. and above. Uh -huh. 65 it's and above. 65 and above. Right. You have to you have to be eligible. There's a state form that you have to fill out okay. to prove that you're eligible. Okay. And and uh, we're we're you know. We got to make sure we get people done. Well, we're close, but no cigar. So we'll wait our turn. Yeah. All right. <laughs> to, no, Feel better. Time. Let us know. You know, I hope everything goes well with the quarantine. And it's I'll nothing. keep you posted. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for joining. All right. Coming up.